Hey guys, Ethan Bill here. Hope you're having a fantastic week. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how he managed to acquire a customer for less than $10 for a skincare brand client, and the AOV being about $40. I'm going to show you the strategy, kind of the ads we ran, etc. So first of all, here's a screenshot from the ad account. And um, as you can see, we acquired in a week um, 324 customers, uh, $8.89 per uh, acquisition, 14 k AOV is 43, just on the 3K spent. So in a month, that's probably looking at about 60K. And then in terms of new, these are these are new customers as well. So this is a prospective campaign. Uh, about 1,300 new customers as well. So and as, like I said, like you can see straight here, under $10 CAC. And it was funny because when I actually spoke to the brand um, on a call first, I actually laughed when I said, okay, we could probably get you a, a sub ten dollar cat for this product and they laughed and then I said, and they see this it's quite funny um but yeah it's very very simple so when you with skincare you have to have a good product okay that's the main thing if you have a bad product it, if you have a bad product it just isn't going to work you need to show people how they can get results better so better results with your product in a quicker time span with minimal effort okay that's that's literally it if you can prove that to your customer they'll buy from you but the main thing that people forget about is education so people don't know what a serum is like people don't know what a moisturizer you've got to educate them what are the signs of you need a serum for example not the signs you need a moisturizer like you know if you've got acne for example you know cleanse is your option not a moisturizer you know that type of thing so you want to educate them so first things first obviously educate them so say this brand was a serum so okay what is a serum so let's put serum here you want to outline what actually is a serum okay then we're like okay well, what are the signs of it we're going from a very broad perspective because we knew that a lot of people liked buying this serum just because they had dull skin so we knew that straight away because we started running ads and we got to like literally like 10k a month relatively quickly just by you know the fact that putting ads around the idea of dull skin this gets rid of dull skin etc so you know what are the signs of that you know, um, what is a serum? What are the signs you need one? Why is yours? Why is yours the best? You know, things like that. You want to, this is what you want to outline very, very clearly because people don't know what a serum is. And so many skincare brands go, this is our serum, free shipping. Buy now. Have you got dry skin? This can fix it. And it's so frustrating because people aren't educating the skincare. There's too many options out there. People can't be able to learn about it. So you have to educate them. So serum. What is it? What are the signs of it? Why is yours the best? How can you get the least effort? How does yours get the best results in the quickest time period? That type of thing. So that was the first type of ad we ran. Now, the other angle we went for, we linked it to the education, was attention. So we create ads like, um, for example, like POV, you are the center of attention in every bathroom walking, or um, you're the one on girls' night. You always get asked about how good their skin is. Things like that. So we did loads of angle, well, loads of hooks and loads of ads around attention. And we linked that to education. So we got the attention via attention. So we used attention as a hook. So that's basically how we did it. And then we educated. And then we we're like, okay, so Pov, you are, you know, you get attention, you're the you're the center of attention every bathroom you walk in. Boom, you got the attention. And then how do you do that? Oh, with a serum. But what is a serum? Okay, it does this. But do I need a serum? If you've got these signs, yes, you do. But why do I need your serum compared to everybody else's? Well, you get ours quicker. Maybe it's waterless. Maybe you get results quicker. Short time span, less effort. Doesn't leave your skin shiny. Absorbs quicker. Yeah, but, and then then basically, that's basically, you've, you've answered all the questions. Then they have a few objections like, oh, okay, but will it leave my skin shiny? Okay, will it make my skin look greasy? I have sensitive skin. Is this relevant to me? I have mel mel um, melanin-rich skin. I have, you know, um, normal skin. Is this going to be relevant to me? And you're like, yeah, okay, cool. And that's it. And you just end with a CTA. Uh, well, we do a CTV. So CTA is call to action. A CTV is a call to value. So instead of saying like, click shop now below and get better skin, it's like claim back your smooth skin by clicking shop now below or smoothing out those wrinkles by clicking shop now below, things like that. Um, call to value. So you're not just saying like shop now, why should they click shop now? And that's basically it. It was very, very simple ads. And um, the reason they worked so well, I mean, we did, literally ads were feed ads. They were on 1080, 1080. We didn't exclude any 
placements, but Facebook just put them on 1080 to 1080, and we crafted them as 1080 to 1080. We literally, you know, and a few of them as well, we use quite a lot of copyright free content, and so even use a lot of UDC content because again, we're just educating. So we use like visuals or like DNA and you know like skin cells and things like that, and we just educated people. And once you educate people, they think, okay, this guy, this you know, this guy's like authority. This brand knows what they're talking about. Oh, the dermatologist back, whatever. So they start to build trust with you, which makes the sale a lot easier because you go on the website, there's already loads of reviews. You've got a kick-ass landing page and boom. So that's literally it. That's how I managed to do that. And these literally two types of ads we ran, we run for a lot of skincare brand, uh, clients and we get very similar results. Like a, a nine or eight dollar CAC, for example, or sub ten dollar CAC is quite difficult to achieve. I'm not going to lie. Usually, when we run ads, we can basically acquire customers between fifteen and twenty dollars. But this product was so, so, so good that we could acquire customers for basically less than ten. And the ads as well. You kind of meet in the middle. If the if the product's good and the ads are good, it works well. If the product's good and the ads are rubbish, it doesn't work well. But if the ads are really good and the product's rubbish, the ads won't work. It's all around the product and too many skincare brands go straight in to running ads before they even got a good product there's a reason why a lot of brands skincare brands can't get past six figures uh, you know a year basically or maybe they'll touch like 800k a year and not get further because the product is not unique basically it's, it's it's simple so yeah that's how we did it and like i said we acquire results like that for a range of different um clients like i said in the skincare space we work one-to-one -one with them so if you find this video helpful and if you have any questions, just drop me in the comment section below. Obviously, I'd really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button. And if you want me to basically generate you 14K per week and get similar results to you, uh, what, like 30 new cold, fresh customers a month, uh, like a sub $10 CAC, about 4 point something next ROAS, yeah, about, about, yeah, about 60K per month in sales, then click that link below uh, in the description. And that says, have Ethan Bailey run my Facebook ads. Click that link there, should a very, very quick 10, 15 minute chat with me, and we'll assess if you're a good fit to work with us. And that's basically it. I hope you found this video helpful. And remember, you need to have a superior product, and you need to educate people and buy what people want. Women want attention, but women can't be doing research. You've got to educate them first. It's basically it. So yeah, any questions, drop them in the description below, and I hope you have a fantastic week.